Do you know that you carry the same identical power as Jesus did? He has not been, you have, he has not been given anything different than you've been given to him, to you. You are the same. You just need to know how to turn it on. You need to know how to, how to activate it. That car. It needs to just activate and the thing starts up and makes this noise. You got to learn how to activate it. Do you know in 1969, they told my father he would never make mourning. Who told him? The specialist that we flew in from New York, heart specialist. They said, I stake my profession. Told my mom, your husband will never make mourning. The priest came in to read him his rights. So you know what she did? She threw the priest out. She said, you keep your own faith. Get away from me. You ain't read nobody, no, nothing. She threw the doctors out. That was costing us $17,000 a day. And then the intensive care was costing seventeen grand a day. And back in the 60s, that's a lot of pennies. But Jesus said, I'm the doctor in a sick room. Now he had a massive heart attack, a stroke, sputomonas of the blood. His arteries were closed. I mean, you got to think about this. The odds were his kidneys failed. The odds were working against them. But it took one person with faith. Well, the Bible says, if you have as much faith as a mustard seed, you can say to a mountain, what mountain are you talking about? Whatever you're dealing with in life. Say to the mountain. This book is not void of power. It's void of speech. When you speak what this says, the atmosphere around you changes. God says, if you speak my word, I will change laws, rules, and regulations. Why? Because God said, I framed the world with my words. And his words are anointed and powerful. The world recognizes that power. So when that power is spoken again, it goes, wait, I've got to conform to what it's saying. This is why we have the advantage. But see, the thing that disconnects that advantage is your thoughts. Everything will hinge on a thought. Satan will go, yeah, but what if? Because Satan has no power. I'll just fight the devil, brother Sammy. The devil has been fought, defeated. He's in the pit of hell. What are you trying to fight? You're trying to fight a dead angelical demon. That's what Jesus came to do. Fight death, hell, and the grave. I'm fighting the devil. No, you ain't fighting no devil. He's defeated. And as a matter of fact, God and Satan don't talk. They can't communicate. Well, yes, they do. God allows the devil to do things. God doesn't allow Satan to do anything. God and Satan don't communicate, guys. Understand the spiritual realm. You guys have been in the natural realm too long. That's why nothing works for you in the natural realm. Understand the spiritual realm. What does the word rationalize mean? It means you're rationing lies to your mind. Stay out of it. Keep your mind out of it. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understandings. In all your ways acknowledge Him. He directs the path. What's a good fight, guys? When you win. And you don't play nine innings. You fight until you win. And guess what? The book says you win. People tell me that God and Satan communicate. Jesus said this. I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the life. No one goes to the Father. Unless they go through him. Jesus. So does Satan have Jesus in him? Then they can't talk. When Satan got thrown out of heaven. 
He was stripped from all spiritual discernment. He was stripped. If he had power, he'd destroy everybody right now. He'd have destroyed Adam 7,000 years ago. Satan's not a god. He's a falling angel. Know who you are. Know how he works in your mind. Always promising to serve you, but he enslaves you. This message has been brought to you by Winning at the Race of Life. To invite Hollywood stuntman, speaker, and author Sammy Maloof to your organization, please call 626-292-2258. Visit winningattheraceoflife.com and join us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter.